so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi. Coming up, we're going to meet flamingos and some special animals called ambassador animals. Let's check them out. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at where I'm at today. Today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, they're so great. You can see big animals, small animals, even insects if you want. Yeah, I am so excited. Let's go. Whoa, we're in the back of a habitat. This is so cool. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like some animal snacks. Yum. <laughs> okay, I'll put that down right there. Wow. And this is this animal's real food. Yeah, this is what they eat on the daily. Hey, check it out. See this right here? Yeah, you just put some powder in right there, swirl it around, and this is what this animal loves to eat every day. Okay, let me put this back right here. But hey, did you see what we saw right here? Whoa, looks like a feather. This must come from the animal that's in this habitat. Hmm, yeah, feather. Birds have feathers. And do you see? It's the color pink. Whoa, do you know what animal, bird, is the color pink? Yeah, flamingos. Okay, let me set this down right here. <laughs> and then let's grab the snacks and let's go see if we can find the flamingos. It's John! Hey! Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? Good. Welcome to our flamingo exhibit. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm um, just raking up the feathers. Oh. And these are our flamingos. Oh, do you see the flamingos? Wow. Do you mind if I get a closer look at them? No, go ahead. All right. Whoa. Hey, let's take a closer look at the flamingos. Oh, hello, flamingos. Hey! Wow. These flamingos are so pretty. Whoa, did you know that when flamingos are born, they're the color white? Yeah, gray? Yeah, whitish gray. And then, when they get older, they turn the color pink. Because the food that they eat has a lot of pink in it. Whoa, that is so cool. And you see how tall their legs are? Whoa, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller than the whole rest of the body. Wow, that is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos, their legs bend backwards. And you're probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> but hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs? Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show. Whoa, another great animal. This place is awesome. Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry is a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk. Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk, and if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah. It's a really strong smell, and you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before, and you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah. So why do they spray again? 
It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands. And that says, hey, don't mess with me. More bad things are coming. And if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. <laughs> That's funny. What's Harry eating? Today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit, he even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs>is Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Whoa. Eduardo is a three-banded armadillo. Whoa. And it looks like he's eating some insects. Those look so yummy for him. <laughs> I actually got permission to go inside, but he's actually probably going to think my shoes are really cool because they smell. So let me go inside and see if he is curious. Hello. Hey. How are you? Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, he has a very hard shell. Yeah. Three banded armadillos are ones that can go all the way in a ball. But he's not doing that right now because that is a defensive mechanism. Yeah, he's actually really comfortable right now. <laughs> hey! Do you see how he's just sniffing around? Oh, he is so cute! And his fingernails are so long, or toenails, and he has some cute little hairs coming out the bottom. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go! Whoa, check it out! Look, this is a hawk! But wait a second, who are you? My name is Lindsay. I am an ambassador animal keeper. Wow, what, what's the name of this hawk? This is Cisco. He is a 32-year-old Harris's hawk. Wow, Cisco is so pretty. Wow, I love the wings. Does it have big wings or thin or small? Or? He has big, broad wings that are good for soaring, but not very good for diving fast. Oh, wow. Do they live together or alone? Harris's hawks are very special because they live in family groups with other hawks. Most birds of prey live by themselves. Oh, wow. And I like Cisco's eyes. What's unique about them? Harris's hawks and other birds of prey have really great eyesight. That is so cool. And I like its beak. Look at it. It's like, shh, looks so sharp. Can I take a closer look at it? Sure. Whoa. Check out Cisco. Wow. Whoa, so majestic. Wow. Hey, Cisco. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow, another amazing animal. Whoa, this is a burrowing owl. Whoa, what's his name? This is Papu. Oh, nice to meet you, Papu. I'm Flippy. Do you see Papu's eyes? They're so big and yellow. Wow, does that mean they can see good? Owls have excellent eyesight. Wow. And Papu is so small. Is it a little baby? No, Papu is full grown. Whoa. Is it like other owls where they go out at night and look for food? So other owls are nocturnal, which means they're awake at night. But Papu is diurnal. He's awake during the day. Whoa. That is so cool. Papu is so cute. Wow, I just want to pet him. He's so cute, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Can I take a closer look? Sure. Wow, check it out. This is Anahi. Yeah, she is so pretty. Wow. Do you see her tongue poking out? Yeah, she pushes her tongue out of her mouth every now and then to smell. Isn't that crazy? We use our nose to smell, but she uses her tongue to smell. Yeah, and she is a red-tailed boa constrictor. Whoa, 
Look at her just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I hope she is having a great day! Whoa, she is so big! Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters long. Whoa, but she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this. Whoa, yeah! She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so cool! <laughs> Wow, check it out. This is blue, and blue is a blue tongued skink. Whoa. She looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs. <laughs> but she's not. She's actually a lizard. Whoa, she is so cool looking. Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue. That makes sense. I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah. Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa, jeez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look, this is Tut and this is Cairo. Whoa, look at them, hey! They are Egyptian tortoises. Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle. But these are actually full size. Whoa, where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert. Yeah, whoa, that makes sense because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah, I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa, what a great animal. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I. P-P-I, Flippy, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. Hello, it's me, Flippy, and today I'm at PD Bakery in Seattle, Washington. Whoa, look at this place. Whoa, it's so cool. Yeah, we're in the back. Yeah, this is called a kitchen. Oh, and look at what it is. Wow, look at it. <laughs> wow, this is an apron. Ooh, check it out. Look at those flowers. Yeah, this apron is going to help keep me nice and clean when I bake. Yep. I sure ate a lot of vegetables today. Yep, and now that I ate a bunch of healthy food, we can have something yummy and sweet. I am so excited. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, look at this place. Whoa, there's so many cool things. Yeah, like a measuring cup. Yeah, you can put things in there and then know how much of an ingredient you have exactly in this measuring cup. Whoa, or a giant spoon? Whoa, you can stir a lot of stuff with that. Whoa, whoa, and look at this. Yeah, a spatula. Boing, <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, right there for now. Whoa, looks like we have some vinegar. Yum. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wow, come on. Whoa! A giant sink! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> this is where I clean a lot of dishes! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, speaking of
Speaking of cleaning dishes, whoa, hello, look, this is a dishwasher. You put a lot of dirty dishes right here, and then you close it down. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Whoa. whoa, check it out. This is a stove top. Whoa, you can cook so much food right here. Whoa, there's so many stove tops. Whoa, do you see the little fire right there? Yeah, this is not a toy. You need to be very careful when you're cooking. <laughs> Whoa, yum! Yeah! Look at these sweet treats. Wow, these are macarons, and they look so yummy. Look at this one. This one is the color red. Whoa, it looks like we have some green, and some blue, and some orange. Whoa, look, I'll grab an orange and a blue. <laughs> My two favorite colors. Ah, oh, I'll eat these later. <laughs> Whoa, we have some black sesame cookies. Yum, woo. And some ube cookies? Yum! Check these out. Open these up. Wow! What color is that? Yeah, the color purple. Yeah, there's no food coloring in this. That? Yeah, that is the color of the food that was added into this cookie. That is so cool! <laughs> okay, put that right there for me to eat later. <laughs> Oh, look at these cute things. Looks like, what animal is that? Yeah. Moo, moo. Yeah, a cow. Ooh, a vanilla cake. Yeah, Blippi party cake. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Yeah, and a triple chocolate cake. That looks so yummy! Well, hey, maybe you and I can cook and bake some of this. Yeah, how about today we make some macarons? Yeah! Whoa, check it out! I'm washing my hands and I'm scrubbing them for 20 seconds. Yeah, do you know how long 20 seconds is? Yeah, it's about the same length as when you sing the ABCs. Will you sing with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's rinse them all off. Wow, oh, nice and clean now. Okay, perfect. Shut off the water. Oh, wow. And now I'm ready to make some delicious treats. <laughs> oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm the baker for Fanny Bakery. Whoa, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Are these the ingredients? Yeah, these are some ingredients for some macarons. Ooh, well, what do we have here? Well, first we have eggs, and we have almond flour, we have sugar, and we have an important ingredient called salt. And when you eat it, it's really salty, but when you put it in desserts, it actually makes it sweeter and tastier. Ooh, that sounds so yummy! And you said almond flour. Why are we using that rather than all-purpose flour? So almond flour is special because when you put it in macarons, it makes it less sticky than flour and makes it really light. Wow, that is so cool. Well, hey, do you mind if I mix all these ingredients? Yeah, how about you throw all the ingredients into a bowl and throw it into the mixer, and I'll go get the oven ready. Okay. Woohoo! All right, let's mix all the ingredients together, and then we'll put it in the mixer. <laughs> all right. First, let's uh, add the salt. Perfect. And then we'll add the sugar. And then the almond flour. Whoa! Hey, check it out! A small bowl, medium, and 
large. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. <laughs> and for the eggs. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I probably have to break them open. All right, here we go. <laughs> now I'm going to go put it in the mixer. Yeah. Whoa. Massive mixing machine! Whoa! Look how big it is! There's a giant whisk right here. Wow! Looks like there's a green on button, a red stop button, and a big bowl for me to add all the ingredients. All right, here we go! Pour it in. Looks like we already made some earlier. Yeah, this is gonna be a big batch. <laughs> all right, now that all the ingredients are in there, we need to make sure that the cover is closed. We need to raise up the bowl. There we go. And now we need to turn this to the on position. There we go. And we'll push the green start button in three, two, one. Yeah! Look at it mix. Okay, the next step that we need to do, yeah, is take some of this batter and put it inside these piping bags. Yeah, what shape is this piping bag? Oh, yeah, it looks like a triangle. Perfect. And do you see how you open it up? Yeah, that's where you put all the batter. But hey, check it out. Yeah, we have some batter already in a piping bag. <laughs> okay, Jennifer, now that we have the batter in the piping bags, what do we do now? So first we need to cut the bag. Okay. 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 And we're going to make some cow macarons. Oh. To do that, first you're going to need one big circle. Okay. We're going to make cow macarons. Big circle for is that the head? That's gonna be the head, yeah. Okay. And then we need two small circles on the top for its ears. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. That's okay. Okay, I see it. Yeah, the head and then two ears. Here, let me try. Alright. There we go. Yeah, it's just like that. And then one ear. Two ears. <laughs> Perfect. That's going to be one great cow. <laughs> okay, do we fill it up now? Yeah, let's fill up the whole pan. All right, let's do it. Yeah! So much fun! <laughs> yeah, now that we're done, why don't you throw them into the oven for 20 minutes and I'll get the buttercream ready. Okay, alright. So I need to throw these in the oven for 20 minutes? Whoa! Alright, so I'm gonna put on these safety gloves. Alright. <laughs> yeah, here we go! Wow! I used my safety gloves because ovens are not a toy. You need to be very careful. Okay, what did Jennifer say? She said 20 minutes. Oh, that's a long time. Wait, but wait a second. You know what I like to do when I wait? Yeah, I like to dance. Woohoo! Hear that? Yeah! That buzz.
Bowser means that. They're probably done! <laughs> yeah! Let's open it up and then see the macrons. <laughs> Whoa! Woohoo! That is hot! Woo! And they look so yummy! Wow! Check it out! Now it's time to decorate! Looks like so much fun! Hey, can I try? Sure, Blippi. You want to give it a try? Sure. Okay. Uh, well, looks like we have three colors here. We have black, and then, uh, looks like we have white, and then looks like we have the color pink. Let's see. What are we making? Oh, yeah! Remember these from earlier? Yeah, a cow! A cute cow! Moo! Yeah, it has two eyes, has two ears, has some spots, and a really cute nose. <laughs> okay, let's put that down right here. I'm gonna start with the black. All right, looks like I'll do two eyes. And we need to do the spots. Cute little hair thing on top. <laughs> okay, so now let me move to the color pink. <laughs> All right, looks like pink. We put it on the ears, and it's the base for the nose. Last but not least, the color white. <laughs> and we just put a little, uh oh, I put a little too much, but that's okay. There we go. <laughs> How does it look? Yeah, does that look like a cow? No! No! <laughs> wow, that looks so good. <laughs> All right, let's keep on decorating. Whoa, check it out! Yeah, a blippy party cake. Yum! <laughs> Whoa, what are these? Yeah, macrons. Yum, they're so tasty. What is this though? Yeah, does it look like my bow tie? Yeah, it's an orange blippy macron bow tie. It looks so tasty, doesn't it? Yeah, well hey, check this out. I have two things of icing. My two favorite colors, blue and orange. And check it out. I have a flippy macron that's empty, no colors at all. So maybe, just maybe, we can use some of this icing to decorate it. So my normal bow tie is orange, but I'm actually gonna use some blue too. So let's just squirt some out. Whoa, that looks cool. Let's do a big dot there, do a big dot there. How about one right there? Oh, and one way over there. Whoa, that doesn't look like my bow tie, does it? No, that's okay though. Sometimes when you're being creative, yeah, actually all the times when you're being creative, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, like this. Woohoo! check it out. Whoa, yum, doesn't that look tasty? Yum, and hey, watch this. I'm gonna do another Big blob. Yeah, a blue. Oh, I will just finish that all the way across there. And then I'll put some orange on top of that. Wow. Now, does that look tasty? Or does that look tasty? Yum! <laughs> These are so tasty! Whoa! That has been so much fun making all these sweet treats with you, hasn't it? Yeah! 
yeah! I want to give a special thanks to Jennifer at Peony Bakery in Seattle, Washington. Wow, she did such a good job and they are so yummy! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. Well, hello! It's me, Blippi, and today we're at Amy's Playground in South Pasadena, California. Come on! Whoa! Hey, who are you? I'm Brian the Illusionist. Ooh, that's cool. What are you doing? I'm building a rainbow. Ooh, a rainbow? <laughs> First thing we need is a white cloud. Okay. A blue. I don't know what you call it, maybe arch. Yeah. A green good. one. Okay. Blue, green, green, yellow, okay, yellow, just like the color of the sun. Orange, ooh, orange, one of my two favorite colors. See? <laughs> red, ooh, red. <laughs> I love the color red too. And then we need clear huh, for this extra special move right here. Ooh, what's he gonna do? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so excited. We'll find out, won't we? Yep. Whoa. Wow. I love learning my colors. <laughs> this is the hard part. Okay. Here we go. Looks almost like it's complete. And there we have a rainbow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that looks so cool. Whoa. are fun. How many colors does this rainbow have? Let's see. Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. So colorful, colorful rainbow, so colorful, colorful rainbow, so colorful, colorful rainbow, so colorful, colorful rainbow. Would you like to learn how to make a balloon dog? A dog? I love dogs! All right, start from here. Okay. Create sort of a U shape. Okay. And then tightly squeeze. The tighter you squeeze, the easier it is to twist. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Now, we are gonna create another U shape. All right. <laughs> tightly squeeze, leaving a bubble for a neck. Okay. This is fun! And then we're gonna fold the tail towards the neck, create another U shape, and tightly squeeze. All right, I'm doing it. <laughs> now, if you thought that was cool, why don't you place it on the table? Okay, <laughs> awesome. Whoa, look at it. That's my dog, Lino. Hey, Lino. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> if you think that was cool, what? Now is just a balloon, but with a little imagination, we can create a dinosaur. A <gasps> dinosaur? I love dinosaurs. I wonder what one my favorite dinosaur is. <laughs> so silly. Cool. Look at him, just twisting it. Whoa. Do you know what color that is? Yeah, a green dinosaur. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. There you are. Whoa! It's a T-Rex. <laughs> now, if you thought that was cool, place it on the table. Okay. Whoa! Oh, look! A bigger T-Rex. Rawr, 
Oh, that is so cool. Now, if you thought that was cool, check this out. Whoa! Let's act like T-Rexes together. Ready? That was so cool. Thank you so much. What a scary T-Rex! Let's dance to this dino song! is a bird. I love birds. They just fly in the sky. Ooh. 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 <laughs> and this parrot is the color white. <laughs> that is so cool. Whoa, whoa, look. It's a parrot in its cage. Caw -caw. That's so cool. Now, if you thought that was cool, place it on the table. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Even a bigger parrot now. Go 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 go! Will you act like a bird? Of course. Go 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 go! Oh, you want a cracker? <laughs> That's funny. Wow, this is so cool. Well, if you thought that was cool, round two. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Look, it's a bird.
was so much fun playing at Amy's Playground in South Pasadena, California. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. Bye bye Hi. Yeah. Today, we're at Leavenworth Ski Hill in Leavenworth, Washington. <laughs> it is a winter wonderland today, and you and I are going to have some fun in the snow. Let's go. Whoa, that was so much fun. Whoa, did you see what I just did? Yeah, I rode this inner tube down that hill. But that hill wasn't that big. But hey, here we have a bigger hill and we have a machine to tow you up to the hill. So then you don't have to walk all the way up there. I'll show you that soon. But first, this is an inner tube. Whoa, this inner tube has a red cover on it. Whoa, it protects the inner tube. The actual inner tube is black and rubber on the inside, see? And then there's an inner tube leash. And this ring is what the hook hooks onto that then it tows you up to the top of the hill. Woo Whoa, let's go check it out. Okay, check it out. So this machine, yeah, there's cables there. There's gears, check out the gears. Whoa, do you see those gears? It's spinning around, and that is what is providing all its strength and power for these hooks right there to tow the tube and the person to the top of the hill. All right, let's hook one up, and then we'll watch the inner tube go. All right, I have a game to play. Let's count how many tubes we see, all right? One. Two. Three. Four tubes. All righty, good job. We just counted to four together. Now, I have another game. This one's pretty simple. What shape is this inner tube? Hmm, it's not a square. Is it a triangle? No, it's the same shape as a tire. Yeah, it's a circle. Good job. Hey, check it out. Look at what this is. This is a black rubber mat. It's really heavy. And this is a gray carpet. Yeah, just like maybe carpet that you might have at home. Yeah, these mats and carpets are placed on the inner tube path to help slow you down. Because if not, maybe you'd go too fast and go off a big jump. <laughs> All right, here I go. Whoa! How fast I went! That was awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! 
What a cool machine this is! The great thing about ski hills are they have really cool machines to maintain the land. Whoa, check it out. Wow. Do you see this? Yeah, this is a track. Yeah, this vehicle has tracks. Interesting. Most vehicles have wheels and tires, but not this one. This one has tracks, so then it can dig into the snow and then it won't slip and slide. <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh, check it out! Do you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm riding a bike! Isn't this weird? I'm riding a bike on snow? Yeah, normally you ride a bike on concrete and dirt and asphalt, but check this out. Do you see this bike's tires? Yeah, they're so big and wide! Whoa! That is way wider than a normal bike tire. Yeah, these tires are called fat tires. So then they can grip more snow. So then you don't slip and slide. Wow, this bike has some good tread. Let's roll. This is snow, Ooh, and it's really cold. Now that it's so cold outside, put on your hats and gloves, and sip some nice warm cocoa from a mug. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> now that it's snowing outside, everyone's having fun. Let's take the snowboard
has been so much fun playing in the snow with you today. Wow, I sure do love the seasons. Yep, and wintertime is such a great time of the year. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Uh. <laughs> hey, 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 it's me, Blippi, and I was just hanging out in this cardboard box. Check it out. It's like a bird. Whee! <laughs> oh, I have so many cardboard boxes around here. What are we to do with them? Hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we take a few of these cardboard boxes and make something out of them? <laughs> This is going to be fun! Oh! Hey! How are you doing? <laughs> I'm just making a rocket ship out of these cardboard boxes! <laughs> I am using these scissors nice and safely to cut a giant window out of it! Whoa! Look at that! <laughs> wow! Ooh! Now I can sit inside it later. Hmm, then we can explore outer space. I am so excited. Okay, here we go. So now that I have my window, I can then put the cardboard box, well, used to be a box, now it's a rocket ship, up. And do you see this? This is a square. Yeah, but we actually need to make it a triangle. <laughs> So, let's take our scissors. Yep. With your parents' grown-up supervision, you can cut this nice and carefully. <laughs> okay, one side is done. And now we need to do the other side. <laughs> Here we go. It used to be a square, but now it's a triangle. <laughs> okay, now we need some tape to then tape it to make the top of the rocket ship. Okay, here we go. Let's grab the tape, pull off a big piece of tape. Whoa! Alright, let's give it a little slice. Okay, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> I love making things out of cardboard boxes. You can make so many things. Today we're making a rocket ship. But one time I made a monster truck. Another time I made a dolphin. <laughs> and I named that dolphin. Uh, what was that name? I think it was Dolphy. <laughs> oh, oh, sometimes the tape gets stuck, but that's okay. We got it. All right, there we go. Give it a little slice. And then, tape up the other side. Wow, here we go. I am so excited to go into outer space. Have you ever seen the stars at night? Yeah, they're so bright. <laughs> and the moon, I love the moon. Have you noticed that the moon sometimes is a full moon, yeah, sometimes it's a half moon, and sometimes it's a new moon. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's uh, give this a little twist. Now it's time to design our rocket ship. I am so excited, this is one of my favorite parts. So, the first step to design is to have a plan. So let's take this white piece of paper right here, and let's draw the rocket ship. So the first thing you need to do is plan. Plan how the rocket ship is gonna look. So let's draw the rocket ship. So we have a trapezoid over here, and then we have a big rectangle for the body of the rocket ship, 
And then we have a triangle for the cone of the rocket ship. And obviously, I want a lot of color. So first, let's take some orange. Perfect. I love orange. And then let's take some blue. So, let's color it in. I have a plan. I'm going to use colored paper for that. So I'm actually going to use this black marker to symbolize that these are pieces of paper. We will do that later. All right. Oh, whoa. There's a lot of stars here. So let's actually, you know, make some stars right here. Yeah. Yeah, I love stars because you see them at nighttime when you look up in the sky and they twinkle. Yeah, kind of like twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> you know that song. I like that song too. Ooh, and yellow? Yeah, that's a beautiful color. Wow, our rocket ship is looking so good. All right, I think I have a really good idea. Let's take the color red, because it's nice and bright, and spell my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I Flippy. Perfect. All right, so that is the plan. Oh, looks like this triangle, the top of the rocket ship. Yeah, we could color it. How about we color it? Yeah. Blue. I like blue. And we actually have a lot of blue paint on the here, so we can actually just use blue paint for this part. Wow. Perfect. Whoa. I think if we can make this rocket ship in real life, it's gonna be so good. Alright, here we go. Alright, like I said, first thing we have to do is use the blue and orange colored paper to put on the side. Just like this. So let's take the glue stick. Yeah. Yep. Put a lot of glue right on the backs. Just like that. Okay. There's two pieces. Okay. There's one. Here's the second piece. All right, there's one, two pieces of paper, and we got to do two more. Yeah, which will make one, two, three, four pieces of paper. I'm gonna put the glue on them right over here. Okay. Now we have four pieces. One, two, three, four. So let me finish the rest and then we'll see how many we have in total after I'm all done, all right? Whoa! Look! <laughs> it's falling apart. <laughs> well, sometimes if things fall apart, you just have to fix them, okay? Here we go. And after we fix this, then we can count all of the colors. So, let's take our tape. All right, now the rocket booster is all fixed. Yep, there we go. Okay, now let's count all of the colored pieces. Yeah, the blue and the orange pieces. Those are my two favorite colors. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces of paper. <laughs> Good job. Okay, what else did we have on our piece of paper over here of our initial plans of our rocket ship to go to outer space? We had stars. Yeah, remember? We had yellow stars. Yellow star. Another 
yellow star. Wow, they're so bright and they twinkle just like the real thing. <laughs> okay, and let's put some blue stars on there. Can you think of anything that's the color blue? <laughs> My shirt. What about the big, vast blue ocean? <laughs> yeah. Here's another blue star. There we go. What about a purple star? Yeah. I like the color purple. Right there. And last but not least, another purple star. Right there. Perfect. That looks so cool! <laughs> Alright, so as you remember, we have to spell my name on it because that's what was on the plans. But before we do that, let's do the top of the rocket ship. Remember what color I said I was going to paint it? Yeah! The color blue! Okay, let's take some blue paint and... <laughs> My painter's palette. <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> and let's take a paintbrush. Ooh, I love painting. <laughs> okay, and let's squeeze some blue paint right on top. Whoa! 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 <laughs> That's so much fun. Okay, let's give it a little dab. Do some painting. Paint me. There we go. Wow. This is such a pretty blue. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Have you ever used paints before? They're so fun. You can use a paintbrush and you can even use your fingers sometimes. We won't do that today, but that art technique is called finger painting. <laughs> there we go. How does that look? Do you like that? Yeah, I do too. Okay, let's put this away. We need to stay nice and clean and organized. There we go. And remember the last thing we needed to do? We needed to spell someone's name. Oh yeah, my name, Blippi. Will you spell it with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy, good job. And do you remember what color? Yeah, the color red. Okay, so let's use a new paintbrush. Yep. And then we need to make sure we don't mix the red and the blue because then it won't be red anymore and it won't be blue. Do you know what color you get when you mix blue and red? Yep, purple! But we're gonna keep them separate. <laughs> so, let's take this cap off. Oh, there is so much paint in here. And I like to use a lot of paint. Whoa! There we go! Whee! <laughs> Wow, a little bit more. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, let's, uh, before we paint it, we should probably lay it down sideways because we need to write my name, which is sideways. Yeah, there we go, like that. That's how we write sideways. Okay, let's take our paintbrush and let's put the letter B, right here. All right, now that we have the letter B, the second letter is the letter L. Yeah, just like that. The third letter is an I. Ready? Okay, there we go. B, L, I. <laughs> you know the next letter. A P, yeah. 
B L I P. All right, B L I P P. Yeah, here we go. All right, one last letter. B L I P P I. Blippy, good job. There we go. We just completed the rocket ship. So now we gotta get inside. Oh no! Do you see what I did? <laughs> we were so silly! <laughs> Check this out. The window is right there. Yeah! That means we have to twist it this way. See? And now, my name is upside down! <laughs> That's okay though. We're gonna fly through outer space in this new cardboard rocket ship. I am so excited with my name being upside down. <laughs> so silly. Are you ready? <laughs> because I sure am. Here we go! building the rocket ship with me. Now that we're in outer space, I think we should explore our solar system and learn all about it. All right, here we go. Whoa! 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 Look at that. That is our sun, and its name is called the sun. <laughs> How original. Our sun provides all the light in our solar system. And that light takes eight minutes to go from the sun to our planet Earth. And the sun is so big, there's 1.3 million Earths that can fit inside of it. Whoa! That's a lot of Earths. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Outer space is so much fun. Oh, look at that planet. That planet is Mercury. Wow, that planet is really rocky. And it, there's so many craters on it. And actually, since it's the closest planet to the sun, one rotation around the sun is super fast. It's only about 88 days on Earth. <laughs> Mercury is awesome. Look at that planet! That planet is the planet Venus. And it is so hot! It's the hottest planet! Woo! It's getting hot in here! <laughs> the planet has so many volcanoes on it! And it's actually really bright. If you look up in the sky from our planet Earth, you can actually see it without a telescope! Wow! <laughs> here we go! Whoa! where you and I live. Wow, what a beautiful planet. There's so much water there, and then there's a lot of trees and mountains. Whoa, and our planet Earth, yeah, we have one moon. Let's head there now. Woo sent robots and rovers to Mars. That is awesome. Us humans have yet to land on Mars ourselves, but maybe someday soon, maybe you'll be the astronaut. Yeah, here we go. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> the asteroid belt was 
one's so intense! Whoa, and look at that! That's our planet Jupiter. It's the biggest planet in our solar system. And do you see that big red dot? That is a storm. Whoa, that's a big storm. And Jupiter actually has 79 moons. <gasps> that's crazy. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! See you later, Jupiter. Hello, Saturn. <laughs> Check it out. This is our planet Saturn. Whoa, what are those? Those are Saturn's rings. Wow, there's so much dust, ice, and rocks that form those to make up those rings. Wow, what a cool looking planet. All right, Saturn, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, look, another planet. That is Uranus. Yeah, what a cool planet. Wow, it's kind of blue looking, huh? Yeah, that's because there's so much ice on it. It's known as the Big Ice Planet. Whoa, it has 13 rings and 27 moons. All right, see you later, Uranus. Bye-bye. Whoa, yeah, this has been so much fun. Whoa, look at that planet. That planet is the planet Neptune. It's so dark, cold, and windy on that planet. Oh, let's get out of here. The last planet of our solar system. Look at it, it's really small. That is Pluto. It's so small, it's a dwarf planet. Wow, and it's really cold. I love Pluto. <laughs> it's really chilly out here, though. Let's turn around and count all of the planets, shall we? <laughs> Yay! Whoa! Whoa! I'm upside down. But now look at my name. Whoa! Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all of the planets in our solar system together. Hey, I think we should count all of them. Okay, the sun isn't a planet, so let's count the planets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh w w wait a second. Eight, nine? Uh, who knows? <laughs> Some people say Pluto's not a planet, but I don't know. It's all up in the air right now. Well, or outer space. <laughs> so silly. Eight or nine. We'll keep it at that. Okay, now let's name the planets. Ready? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Wow. Good job. All right. Well, I should probably get going now. Maybe we'll go and explore another solar system someday. All right. See you later. Bye-bye. Whoa. It's me, Blippi! And today we're here at Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida! <laughs> yeah! And I can't wait to see what's inside and start playing! Whoa! Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Look where we're at! The Sandy Shack! <laughs> yeah! It's a really big sandbox and you and I get to go inside! <laughs> but first, we gotta take off our shoes. One. Two. <laughs> okay, I'll put these to the side and we can go inside. Don't forget your bucket. Whoa, look at it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's so cool in here. It's really sandy. There's so much sand here and it's a good thing we have our pail and shovels. Yeah, we have two blue shovels. We can pick up sand. And we have one, 
two, three different pails. Yeah, this one is the color yellow, this one is the color orange, and this one is the color red. <laughs> yeah, these are really helpful for scooping sand up, whoa, and making a sand castle. Okay, let's try it out. <laughs> uh oh, it looked like our sand castle didn't stand up, but that's okay. Sometimes when you're trying to make something, it doesn't work on the first time, so you gotta just keep trying. <laughs> Whoa, this is pretty cool. Whoa, but do you see these animals? Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? It's kind of hiding in the sand. <laughs> yeah, this animal is a crab. <laughs> He's feeling a little crabby. <laughs> so silly. Well, this crab is really cool. Hey, do you know how crabs like to move? Uh-huh, yeah, they don't like to walk like us. They like to go side to side. Hey, will you act like a crab with me? <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go. Let's do a crab walk. Whoa, <laughs> moving side to side like a crab is so much fun. <laughs> yeah, but look at this. There's another animal. Whoa, this animal is really big and likes to live on beaches just like a crab in the sand. This, yeah, this guy, he's a sea turtle. Whoa, and look how big his shell is. Whoa, it's bigger than my head. Whoa, this is so much fun playing in the sand. Woo, woo, woo. Maybe we can make a sand angel. Okay, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> that was so much fun playing in the sand with you. Whew. Gotta dust myself off because I'm pretty sandy now. <laughs> Let's go keep exploring. But first, we gotta put our shoes on. Now that we have our shoes on, all we have to do is tie them. Yeah, do you know how to tie your shoes? Yeah, they can be really, really hard tying your shoes. But this is how I like to tie them. So I take my laces, and first I cross them over, and I take one of the laces, and I put it through the center. Yeah, like that. And I pull it tight. Once I've done the first step, then I take the laces, and I make cute little bunny ears. Yeah, just like this. You see my two little bunny ears? Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, and then I take the bunny ears, and they give each other a little hug, they wrap around, and then I pull that tight too. Okay, this time I'll do it a little faster. Okay, we take our laces, we cross them, and then one lace goes under, then one bunny ear, two bunny ears, woo! <laughs> and we cross them. We then wrap that one through, they give it a little hug, and we pull it tight. Whoa, look at that! We tied our shoes. And sometimes I like to do it again to double knot my shoes because I like to dance and I like to run and play. And you don't want to play or dance when your shoes are untied because then you might trip on your shoelace. That wouldn't be very fun. <laughs> well, there's so much more to explore. Come on. There are so many cool things here. <laughs> Look at this really big circle. Hello. Woo. Look at this over here. There are so many cubes. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many different colors on these cubes. Look, we have the color white and the color red and the color purple and the color blue. <gasps> Wait a minute, if I turn it this way, my two favorite colors, blue and orange. Hey, and look over here, there's like a little diorama playset. And there's all kinds of cool animals, like a little piggy. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> Woo, he's gonna walk on the bridge. Woo, and look, there are two sheep. Yeah, one, two. And you know what sound sheep make? Yeah, they go like this. Bah, bah. <laughs> and they're also gonna be on the bridge. Cause they're friends with Mr. Piggy. Okay, right there. Whoa, and look at this. 
there are three animals here. One, two, three. Do you know what kind of animals these are? Yeah, they're little lambs, and they're so cute and tiny. Woo. <laughs> they're gonna hang out near the bridge too. Whoa, and look at this. There are four really big cows. Moo, moo, moo. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four. Whoa, four really big cows. <laughs> and they're gonna go, they're gonna go in the water. They're taking a little bath, because it's really warm out. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hello, Mr. Pig. Hello, Mr. Cow. Hello. <laughs> so silly. That was really fun, playing with all those foam cubes and seeing about those animals. Hey, look over here. Whoa. And look at this. Have you ever seen one of these before? Yeah, this is called an abacus. Mm -hmm. And it's really good at helping do math or arithmetic. Mm -hmm. Look, you can do it like this. One yellow lemon plus one yellow lemon. Hmm, how many lemons does that make? Yeah, two lemons. Okay, that was pretty easy. But now you can do an even harder one. What about Two apples plus three apples. Whoa, that's a lot harder. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, two plus three apples is five apples. Whoa. Yeah, abacus is really helpful for counting and math. These are really, really big. There's a watermelon and a pumpkin. <laughs> and the pumpkin's my favorite color, orange. Hmm, I wonder what these are. Whoa! Did you hear that? Yeah, this isn't a watermelon, it's a watermelon drum. Well, that means that the pumpkin's a drum too. Sounded really cool. Whoa. Those are awesome fruit drums. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at this over here. Whoa. Look at all these different fruits and vegetables. Yeah. We have lettuce, onion, corn, potato, carrot, whoa, and tomato. Those are so many different kinds. Now, what we can do is play a really fun game where we take all the foods in this basket and we have to match them to the right word. So, first, we got some onions. So, let's see, one onion, two onion. <laughs> yeah, we got it, that was pretty easy. Next, we got two red tomatoes. Ooh, hmm, where should the red tomatoes go? Here? Hmm, here? <laughs> yeah, that's right. We'll put them right over here. Okay, here we go. One, two. Okay, we got a couple more. Whoa, what about this? Wow, there's a lot of things here. Wait a minute. Where should we put this lettuce? It says lettuce here, but there are four parts and only two holes. Wait a minute. These are halves. So, if you take one half and another half, and you put them together, we get one whole, one whole head of lettuce. <laughs> and we have two over here, so one half and one half, one half and one half, two whole heads of lettuce. We'll put them in the holes. One, two. <laughs> and we have two heads of corn. Whoa, look at this. We have some yummy carrots. <laughs> I love carrots, and so do a lot of animals, like rabbits and horses. <laughs> Woo, woo, <laughs> it looks like I have bunny ears with my carrots. Woo, 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 <laughs> that's so fun. Okay, we'll put two carrots, one carrot, and two carrots. Hmm, what's left? Oh yeah, a potato! Whoa, look, we got one potato right here, and we have another potato right, wait a minute, is this a potato? <laughs> that's not a potato! Donuts, so silly. <laughs> well, I guess we'll put it in the potato because 
We only have one potato, but this is not a potato. <laughs> Whoa! We did a really good job matching all the fruit together. Well, there's so much more to explore. Come on! <laughs> hey! Whoa! I just came out of this really awesome treehouse. Hey, let's explore it a little. Whoa! Look at it! This is so big! This tree is enormous. Yeah, look, it's so big that they built a house under the tree, or in the tree, and a house above the tree. Whoa! This is such a cool tree house. I think you and I should go up in it. Come on! Whoa, look at this place. It's so amazing. And look at this. This isn't any tree house. This is Longo's Cove. And look at this. This is a pirate ship. Whoa, someone put this big pirate ship up in the tree. Hello, pirates. <laughs> Whoa, I'm so excited. Let's climb up. But I have a really good idea. How about you and I count all the steps on our way up? <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, there's some more over here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, whoa, 12. We made it up all the stairs and it was 12. That was a lot. Whoa, check this out. You know what this is right here? Yeah, this is called a spyglass and this will help us see really far away. Whoa, I can see so far from here. <laughs> and hey, look at this. Can you find these birds? Yeah, there's all different birds over on the wall and hiding in all different places. And we can use the spyglass to see if we can find them. Okay, we want to find an osprey, a roseate spoonbill, a brown pelican, blue herons, sandwich terns, and and Hingas. Ooh, that sounds like a really cool bird. Let's see if we can find them. Okay, I'm looking. Whoa, I think I found the Anhinga. He's right over there. Whoa, and I see a blue heron. <laughs> hey, right up against the blue wall. And, yeah, look, there's the sandwich turn. Whoa, that was amazing. Looking for all those different birds. Hey. Do you know where all those birds like to live? <laughs> yeah, they live in a place called an estuary. Whoa, estuary is a really fancy word, but it basically means where the ocean meets a river. Woo, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I have a fun game. Do you think that an estuary has salty water or fresh water without any salt? Hmm. You're all right, because it's both salty and fresh. It's kind of, kind of salty, <laughs> yeah. And we call that brackish water. Whoa, that's another big word. <laughs> but it's amazing, because all these cool birds and some really cool fish like to live there, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this treehouse is pretty amazing. Let's see what else we can find. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Do you see above me? Whoa, it's a captain's wheel. Whoa, I bet this came from the pirate ship. Whoa, that is so cool. I wish we could ride a real pirate ship into the ocean. Whoa, hey, it looks like there's a lot of types of trash in this treehouse. Huh, yeah, and it says over here, don't pollute. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of recycling? Yeah. It's really good because recycling helps to take care of the animals that live in the ocean and on land. <laughs> yeah. If you ever have trash, make sure it goes in the recycling bin or a trash can and not in the water. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, this treehouse is pretty cool, but I'm gonna see if I can go climb up to the top. I'll see you soon. Whoa!
That was so much fun. <laughs> but I'm a little bit dizzy. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, I have a really fun idea. How about you and I go up to the pirate ship in Longo's Cove and ride the big yellow slide? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> it looks like we've been here before. Okay. We went that way. So now, let's go this way. <laughs> This is so cool! Look at this place! <laughs> this treehouse is kind of spooky! Ooh! <laughs> well, I had so much fun with you today exploring the Sandy Shack and Longo's Cove! <laughs> it was so much fun! And now, for the very best part, we go down the big yellow slide! Okay, I think I'm ready! On your mark, get set, and go, Blippi! Woo! <laughs> Bye-bye! Woo! Whoa! That was so much fun! <laughs> wow, I had a really great time playing with you today here at Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we had a really fun time playing in the sand in the Sandy Shack and climbing all the way to the top of Longo's Cove. Whoa! <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Woo! <laughs> oh, hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at what I have here. Whoa, this is a scale. Yeah. You put one thing on this side, and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay, let's try a really easy example. I'm gonna take these off. What do you think is heavier, and what do you think is lighter? A feather, <laughs> or a rock? Yeah, I bet. Yeah, the rock is going to be heavier than the feather. Ready? Yeah. Do you see how the rock is lower? Yeah, because this side is heavier. Okay, I have another idea. How about a bunch of these feathers? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of feathers. <laughs> Whoa, and the feathers are so colorful. And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? Oh, that one rock is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa. That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Hey, all right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah, this one is an apple and this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit. And I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's gonna be heavier, and what one's gonna be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. The apple is heavier. Wow. <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case. Remember? Yeah, the feathers were so big, and then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes. And they actually are pretty, whoa, <laughs> light. <laughs> wow, see, even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, 
Let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah. You're right! Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier than three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right. Let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. Perfect. Put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute and pretty. <laughs> okay, all right. Now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> We have a T-Rex. Ah. Okay, you can stand right there. Oh, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. <laughs> and then we have a Triceratops. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys, yeah. This T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right, now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup. And then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense. Because they're actually gonna be roughly the, the no, they will be the, the same size. Yeah, because one quarter of a cup is volume. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay. All right. One quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and what? Perfect. Okay. Oh, gotta set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Gotta use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay. Here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now we'll do the water. All right. Okay, now we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa. I don't want to spill. Ready? nice and organized. Be sure to clean up. All right, now let me tie this. Okay, so we use the same amount of volume. One quarter cup of rice, one quarter cup of water. Okay, now we get to do the fun part. We get to put it on the scale and we get to see which one is more dense. Which one is heavier? Ready? The blue was rice. Whoa, rice is more dense than water. Whoa, woo, 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 Bing. Hey, do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah, construction vehicles are really heavy. Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa, huh. this excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa, <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines are really, really, really heavy, let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground, 
and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah, that is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Bulldozer, constructing the roads. Move over, it's about to roll. It's a yellow tracked machine. Found on mines, farms, and factories. It can push most anything. Bulldozer stirring up debris. Bulldozers help the farmers work by breaking up rocks and digging in the dirt. With the blade on the front and the claw on the back, it can help you build a home just like that. Whoa, it's on a roll. Bulldozer. And they can move through some rough terrain. They can move all kinds of things. Bulldozer, clearing the land. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa! It for sure was heavy enough. Wow, that was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also, bulldozers. Wow, those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna clean up now. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And look at what I have. Whoa. This is a lot of tools. <laughs> I am so excited to use these tools today with you. But first, we need to shut the workshop garage door. Check this out. Oh, this is a chain. Whoa. <laughs> Sounds cool. You can make music with it. <laughs> okay. Anywho, you pull one side down and then it shuts the door. All right. <laughs> there we go. Whoa. All right, back to the cool stuff, the tools. In this video, I am going to use these tools. And yep, they are real tools, like this handsaw or this cordless drill. <laughs> but I'm gonna use all safety precautions that should be used at all times. And also, just because you're a wee young, you shouldn't use real tools. But what you can use are toy tools, like this hammer, ooh, pair of pliers, ooh, like this saw. <laughs> but for this video, 
I, Flippy, am going to use real tools with all safety gear on and safety precautions because I'm a grown-up and only grown-ups should use real tools. So first, let's listen to the Blippy Tool song. Ah! When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. The wrench tightens pipes going clang, clang. A hammer hits a nail going bang, bang, bang. A drill is making holes going zzz, zzz. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Cutting wires with some pliers going snip, snip. Cutting paper with some scissors going clip, clip. When you're working with tools, you've got to be real safe By wearing gloves on your hands and goggles on your face And boys and girls, when you're working with tools Always follow mom and dad's safety rules When you're working with tools, working with tools You hear all kinds of things when you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. tools to choose from. But first, we need our safety gear on. And what's really important are safety glasses. Yeah. So what they do is help protect your eyes. See? Nothing's hurting my eyes. Awesome. Okay, so we'll have those on. And then what we need to put on are safety gloves. So let's put one glove on and then Let's put another glove on. So that makes one, two gloves. And you have to clap. <laughs> okay, and another set of safety gear is my earmuffs. We'll put these on later when we're ready for them. Okay, so now let's make sure we're nice and organized because you can't be unorganized when you're doing hard work like this. So let's bring this right over here. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's put this right here. And then, now let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this piece of wood right here. <laughs> See how tall it is? Whoa, it's about up to my chest. And we need to cut this into a smaller piece. Whoa! See how big that piece of wood is? Whoa! <laughs> All right, so let's set this piece of wood down right here. All right, and then we need to go get some tools. Do you know what tool to use to cut a piece of wood? Is it this? No! This is a broom and a dustpan. <laughs> That's for cleanup time. Okay. Huh. Let's see. Is it is it this tool right over here? No! This is a hammer! Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> you hammer in nails with a hammer. <sighs> that can't cut a piece of wood. Hmm. <gasps> yeah! Yeah! A saw! This is a hand saw, and this is what we're gonna use to cut a piece of wood. 
So let's put it right over here. Okay, and then, do you see this? Whoa, there's a cable attached to it. <gasps> do you know what that means? Yeah, it doesn't work right now because it doesn't have power. So we need to attach some power to it. All right. What over here can pull power? Um, is it this? <laughs> this is a cordless drill. It gets power from its battery. See? But it can't provide power to this saw. <gasps> yeah! Yeah, you're right! Good job! This is an extension cable. We plug this into the wall and then the saw into this. And then it'll have power. Let's plug it in. Look at this right here. This is where you plug it into. Let's plug it in. Yeah! I did it! <laughs> All right, so now we need to find the other end. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Here it is. Let's go! Let me show you a trick. So we need to plug these two together. But if you just plug them in, it's probably gonna come unplugged at some point. So check this out. Loop, swoop, and then plug. Loop, swoop, and plug. See, now you can tug on it gently and it won't come unplugged. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so now this saw is live. So if you pull the trigger, it goes. So we'll keep this right here for now. And then we need to measure this piece of wood. So let's go over here and locate the tool that we can use to measure. Is it this? No, this is a standard screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, it's just screws and screws. Okay, we need something that you can use to measure. <gasps> yeah, a measuring tape. Yeah, right here. This is a measuring tape. Check it out. Whoa! <laughs> Do you see these numbers? Yeah, these are numbers that tell you how short and small and long and big things are. Perfect. All right, let's take a marker. You know what that is. And now let's measure. Okay, all right. Here we go. So let's measure this piece of wood. Whoa, it's really big. So let's measure it to... I know, 12 inches. Do you see the number 12? Right there, 12. It's one after 11 and one before 13. Yeah, so let's make a mark. Perfect. And that is 12 inches. Hey. Did you know, in some places of the world, 12 inches is one foot? <laughs> yep, so today we're measuring in inches and feet. But in some parts of the world, they measure in centimeters and meters. <laughs> okay, all right, let's put these tools back over here. And let's put on our earmuffs. Hello? What did you say? I can't hear you! <laughs> okay, anyways, let me get back to work. All right, so here we go. This is where I need to cut that line. And this is the saw I'm gonna use to cut it. And let me remind you again, this is a grown-up tool and you should not use grown-up tools, but you can use child play tools 
Those are really fun. Yeah, those toys are so fun to play with. Okay, but for now, we need to get some work done. So, I'm gonna prop this up, line it up, and then when I pull the trigger, it's gonna go. Here we go. Yeah! Look! Remember how this piece of wood used to be up to my chest? But now, it's up to my belly button. <laughs> See? Now it's up to my chest. <laughs> what? I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, let me take these off. All right, so we need this piece of wood. And actually, we need this piece of wood too. We need to screw them together like that. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, put that right here while we put this away. So first, let's unplug it. Perfect. All right, now, when you pull the trigger, nothing happens. So, let's wrap up the cable and the cord, and let's stay organized and put it away. And then, let's wrap up the extension cable. All right, nice and organized. Hello! <laughs> All right, put that right there. And now, we need to do two things. Remember how I said we need to screw in the two pieces of wood? So we need a screwdriver or a drill. And then the other thing we're gonna do is hammer in a nail. So we need a hammer and a nail. Let's find those items now. Okay, let's see. A hammer, let's see, oh yeah, yeah, remember? Yeah, a hammer. This is a hammer, you know what a hammer is. Boop, 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 boop. It hammers in nails. Okay, and let's see, here's a nail, perfect. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Let's grab a second nail. Okay, so now I have two nails. Put it right over here. And then, we need a drill and a screw. Do you see those? Yeah, here it is. Oh, wait a second. This is bolt cutters. <laughs> this isn't what we need. <laughs> okay, what we need, yeah, right here. The drill, the cordless drill. Whoa! <laughs> and then, two screws, perfect. So we have everything we need. So let's move all this stuff back down to here. So we're gonna screw these in together. And then we're gonna nail this on top, okay? So let's screw it in first. You take your drill, and you start drilling, nice and slow. Yep. Perfect. All right. And then, here's another one. Perfect. There we go, see? <laughs> Perfect, they stick together. Whoa, all right. So now what we need to do is put this right here, do it a little bit further. Okay, so now to keep this on top, we now need to hammer in two nails, okay? So one nail, two nails, see? Okay, so let's put, let's start with the small one first. See how one's smaller than the other? Yeah, let's start with this one. Put it right there, and make sure you don't hit your, your fingers. 
perfect. There's one, and then here's another. We did it! Check it out! <laughs> yeah! So we have three pieces of wood together! See? If I just hold this one, all three stay together! <laughs> and you know what I'm gonna do with this? Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Yeah! Oh! Oh, yeah! This is my new back massager! <laughs> Yeah! I love building things. Oh, yeah. That's the spot. <laughs> yeah, we did such a good job learning about tools today together. And remember, like I said, I used grown-up tools because I am a grown-up. But you should use toy tools and never use Grown-up tools, real tools, until you're a grown-up, okay? Will you promise me that? <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Let's spell my name together, all right? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, now it's time for cleanup. Clean up, clean up, clean up your stuff, 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 clean up, clean up, clean up your stuff. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, Working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. The wrench tightens pipes, going clang, clang. A hammer hits a nail, going bang, bang, bang. A drill is making holes, going zzz, zzz. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, Working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Cutting wires with some pliers going snip, snip. Cutting paper with some scissors going clip, clip. When you're working with tools, you've got to be real safe by wearing gloves on your hands and goggles on your face. And boys and girls, when you're working with tools, always follow mom and dad's safety rules. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. It's me, Blippi, and that was really fun riding a bike with you. Whew. I was riding really fast, because <laughs> I was so excited to see you today. But you know, sometimes I ride really slow when I'm really tired. <laughs> hey, can you think of any animals or things that go really fast? <laughs> I like that. I think I can think of some too, come on. Whoa! <laughs> You could be really fast like a rocket ship. <laughs> or like a horse. Ooh. <laughs> that was pretty silly being a horse. Can you think of anything that goes really slow? 
<laughs> okay, let's keep thinking. Whoa. You know what goes really slow? A Ferris wheel. Ooh. <laughs> and a snail. How do you know if something moves really fast or really slow? Whoa. Hmm. Oh, I know. You time it. Yeah, you use a clock to see how long it takes for something to happen. And I know the perfect place for you and I to figure out how things go really fast and really slow. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. I'll see you there. I'll race ya. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Blippi. Whoa, and look at that. It's a really big ropes course. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am so excited because today at Nona Adventure Park in Orlando, Florida, you and I get to go to the very top. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be so much fun. Come on. Before we start the ropes course, I think it's a really good idea to learn about all the right equipment to use and to get in a little practice. This right here, this is the harness. And it's really important to put the harness on. So if you're doing the ropes course and you fall off, the harness will get you. Woo! <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay, so we'll put this harness on, kind of like a belt. Put in our left leg, woo! And then our right leg. And do the harness dance. <laughs> yeah, good job. And now you just tighten the harness like this, just like a belt. Now the next part of safety equipment we don't want to forget about are the clips. The clips are going to help us clip onto the ropes. Yeah, so we'll take this loop and we'll put it through the clips. Yeah, and now we're all ready to start practicing. <laughs> hey, I think it's time to go on the ropes course. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that's pretty high up. Maybe it's a better idea to start off with something a little lower to the ground first, and then we'll do that next. Come on. Whoa, look at this place. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, look at all these cool, stools <laughs> and ropes yeah they're all different colors do you know what colors all these ropes are yeah this is the color red we have the color black Ooh. <laughs> and this one's one of my favorite the color blue <laughs> yeah whoa all of these different obstacles that i'm gonna have to walk on look a little bit wobbly whoa whoa <laughs> That's okay, you and I can use all of our balance to stay nice and upright so we won't fall. <laughs> okay, we're all ready to go on the ropes course. Yeah! Look at this. This one has a bunch of fossils for feet, for little steps to step on. <laughs> Boing, woo, wee, woo. <laughs> Whoa, this one's really bouncy. Let's keep going. Come on. We've done such a good job that we can try the one all the way at the top. 
Let's go! This is gonna be so much fun! Wow, that was really tiring, but I'm excited for another one. Oh, hey, look! It's my really good friend! Hey, Jake! Hey, Blippi. Did you know that Jake is a pro athlete? Yeah! <laughs> He's really good at all kinds of sports and really cool things like ropes courses. <laughs> yeah! So, is it really hard being a pro athlete? It is, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's cool. I bet you have to eat a lot of really healthy, yummy vegetables. <laughs> vegetables are important. One of my favorite foods is Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts? Ooh! One of my favorite foods is broccoli! <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you have a favorite food that you like to eat? <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty yummy food. <laughs> hmm. Well, this has been really fun doing this first rubs course, but I think I'm ready to try the one way up there. Whoa! <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. I got a timer, we can time it if you want. Yeah, that's a great idea. How about Jake and I time doing the rope ropes course and see who wins? It'll be a blippy competition! <laughs> yeah! Okay, so who should go first? Why don't you go for it? Okay, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go first while Jake times me and then he'll go next. Come on! I did it! That was so much fun! That was really fast, that was awesome. Whoa, it was really tricky up there, clipping into all the different parts, and it took a lot of balance. <laughs> it was so much fun, I almost made a full circle! Well, actually, this ropes course is not a circle, because it has six sides. Hey, do you know what a six-sided shape is called? <laughs> yeah, that's right, it's called a hexagon! Woo! <laughs> Well, that was really fun, but Jake, I think it's your time to go up to the top. All right, here's the timer. Okay, I got the timer. On your mark, get set, and go! <laughs> I can't wait to see how fast Jake can do the ropes course.
Jake, that was so fast. <laughs> you're really fast, and it must be because you're a pro athlete and practice a lot. <laughs> Great job, you're the winner. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Jake. See you, Blippi. Woo. <laughs> hey. I have a really good idea. How about you and I race? Okay, get the time on the clock started. Let's race! Hey, I'm over here! Hello! <laughs> over here! Woo! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Looks like you found me! Okay, here we go! Down the slide! Woo! Uh-oh! Looks like you beat me! <laughs> that was really fun! <laughs> Good job racing with me! Whoa! Look over here! You see what it says? Curiosity Corner. <laughs> it looks like it's time for the Curiosity Corner. <laughs> yeah! I am so excited because these are so much fun. I can't wait to find out what we're going to build together. Oh, look at the clock. Hey, I bet you and I get to build a clock today. <laughs> yeah! Let's get started. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> look. We're here at the Curiosity Corner. <laughs> and it looks like we're gonna make an awesome clock. <laughs> okay, well first, what do we need to make a clock? Hmm, oh, I know, a circle. Whoa, it looks like this paper plate is gonna be a great circle. Okay, and we're gonna need a pen because clocks have numbers. Yeah, hmm, 12 numbers. So first, we wanna put the numbers down. And a good way to write down the numbers so they're all in the right space is to start at the top. The top of a clock has the number 12. <laughs> hmm. The bottom of the clock has the number six. Ooh. <laughs> and then to the right of the clock, we have the number three. And to the left of the clock, we have the number nine. <laughs> well, there's a couple more numbers on a clock, so I'm gonna fill in the rest. <laughs> Whoa, look! We have all the numbers of the clock. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, but I think our clock is still missing some things. Hmm, we have the numbers, but what points to the numbers? Oh yeah, hands, <laughs> hands. A clock has two hands and we have some really cool paper here. My favorite colors, orange and blue. And all you need to do is cut out little arrows. Okay, you take our little arrows, and we're gonna put them on the clock. Then we just pin them in. Now that we've finished our clock, let's see if we can tell some time. Hmm. Well, we have our big hand and our little hand. What does three o'clock look like? Yeah, just like that. A little hand is on the three. Hmm. What does six o'clock look like? The little hand, we move that again, and it's on the six. Hmm. I wonder what nine o'clock looks like. Whoa. Yeah, that's right. That's what nine o'clock looks like. A little hand is on the nine, big hand is on the 12. <laughs> that was so much fun telling time with you. <laughs> Yay! Hello, <laughs> whoa! These circles are the same shape as a clock. And that gave me a really good idea. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> whoa! I think you and I should do a really fun dance. <laughs> Just like a clock. We'll use the tick tock of the clock for a really cool beat. 
and the hands of a clock. Woo! <laughs> for some sweet dance moves. <laughs> yeah! Okay, step one, we're gonna make our hands like this. Three o'clock, we'll move them to six o'clock, then back to three o'clock, and then to nine o'clock. <laughs> and step number two is have lots of fun and be really silly. <laughs> I'm so excited to dance together. Let's go! <laughs> What time is it? Three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, midnight, cuckoo, midnight, cuckoo, midnight, cuckoo. Double time. Tickety tickety tock, moving around the clock. Tickety tickety tock, doing the tick tock rock. Tickety tickety tock, moving around the clock. Tickety tickety tock, doing the tick tock rock. <laughs> I had so much fun with you today. <laughs> we learned about all kinds of things, like going slow means it will take a really long time, and going fast won't take much time at all. <laughs> it was also really fun learning about time and clocks, and that clocks have two hands and 12 numbers. <laughs> yeah! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you real soon. I'm gonna go play in the ball pit. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Bye-bye! <laughs>
we're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! The beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> All right, let's put them on their side and then let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa, yeah. Wow, the half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect, so now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah, it's because their velocity. Yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down. The speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. And away we go. Whoa, I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Woohoo! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah. Hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. 
Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. learning about velocity with you. And it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great Blippi Velocity Race. <laughs> but there's only one champion, and today, that was water. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I. P-P-I, Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. <laughs>
Hey, how about we learn the parts of the bicycle? All right, as you know, I'm wearing a helmet. That's the first part of the bicycle. Well, it's not part of the bicycle, but if you're gonna ride a bicycle, you need a helmet. And these are the handlebars right here. Handlebars, see? This is what you hang on to while you're riding and you steer, just like a steering wheel in a car. Wee, wee. <laughs> and then the yellow part is the frame. That is what holds all the parts of the bicycle together. This is the seat. This is where you sit down on the bicycle. And this seat is really soft and padded, makes it really comfortable. And then we have two wheels and tires. And then down here, these are the pedals. When you turn these, then the back wheel turns around. Watch. See it spin? Whoa! And the brakes on this actually are the pedals too. Ready? Watch. See when you go forward, this way with the pedals, yeah, counterclockwise if you're looking that way, but then clockwise if you're looking this way. So if you go forward, pedaling forward, the bike will go forward. But if you pedal backward this way, then the bike will stop. Some bikes have brakes at the handlebars right up here, but not this one. <laughs> and look, right here, you can mount stuff. This is a little platform for groceries, or pizza, or vegetables, or I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, I should probably get my helmet back on. So then we can continue to explore. Oh, what a cool little town this is. <laughs> All right, here we go. Whoa, do you see how I'm riding this bike on grass? It's actually made for sidewalks and roads and things are really smooth. Yeah, this is a street bike, but they do make other kind of bikes like mountain bikes. Whoa, whoa, that's a lot better for going over rough terrain like this. <laughs> This is the quarry pool. Hey, let me show you what it's like in here. Wow, this used to be a giant hill that came out to here. But then people way in the past dug it out and it's about a hundred feet. That's about 33 meters deep. Yeah, so you cannot touch the bottom. Whoa, whoa. You can actually swim in this place. Wow, and a waterfall over there. This definitely looks like a fun place to swim. Whoa, 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 I think my bike is broken. Whoa. Oh, hey. Perfect. This town has a bike stand with a bunch of tools on it. All right, first thing we need to do is put the bike right up here. Oh, perfect. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. Ring, it looks like it's doing a wheelie. Ring, ring. <laughs> All right, enough of playing. We need to get to work so we can fix it. Check this out. Looks like we have some Allen wrenches. Oh. And then we have a flathead screwdriver. We have a Phillips or standard screwdriver. We even have a wrench. And there's so many tools. But I think the problem is the tire is flat. So let's take this off. And this is how you fill up the tire. Put it right here. And then if you can see, this is how you pump it up. Oh, perfect. I think now 
It's ready to go. Woohoo! Hey, I think this is the perfect time for the tool song. <laughs> when you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. The wrench tightens pipes going clang, clang. A hammer hits a nail going bang, bang, bang. A drill is making holes going zzz, zzz. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Cutting wires with some pliers going snip, snip. Cutting paper with some scissors going clip, clip. When you're working with tools, you've got to be real safe By wearing gloves on your hands and goggles on your face And boys and girls, when you're working with tools Always follow mom and dad's safety rules When you're working with tools, working with tools You hear all kinds of things when you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. We are at the stone carving shop where you can buy carvings. <laughs> hey, who are you? What's your name? Wyatt. Wyatt? What are you doing right here? Carving stone. Carving stone. Whoa, okay, so you take the chisel yep. and then you use the mallet and then you hit it yep. like a hammer and a nail. Here we go. Oh, check that out. All right, now your turn. Oh, you want to color it in? Yes. All right. Wow, that is so awesome. Can I go explore your shop? All right, let's go. How are you two? Oh, doing great. Wonderful weather today. Yep. What's your names? My name's Ian Williams. I'm uh, the father to Wyatt right here. I'm Keith. Ooh, that's really cool. Nice to meet you two. Keith, you want to show me around? Well, uh, we have uh, various items on the wall here for, for our customers. It looks like Wyatt and his crew carved all of these out of stone with that, that mallet and that pointy metal thing. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. What does this look like? This looks like an apple, but it's actually carved out of stone. <laughs> That's really cool. Well, let's continue to explore the town. Yeah. right now. Do you know what kind of vehicles are at the fire station? Yeah, they have ambulances, they have fire engines. Hey, check them out. Whoa, these are so cool. Wow. Whoa, there's a real fire engine right here. Come on! Hey, what 
are you doing? We're going on a fire call. We're going on a fire call? That means someone needs help. Can I go on the fire call? Why, sure, Blippi. Okay. All right. So that means we get to go help someone, and we get to go on the fire call. Hey, first things first, safety first. I first need to buckle up. All right, now that I'm all buckled up, I'm gonna get ready so we can go on the fire call. I'm gonna put it into gear, and then I'm gonna take it out of the parking brake. So now we can go forward. All right, let's go save those people. They need a lot of help, so let's go! Check it out! You've probably seen a police car before, but right now I'm driving a police truck. <laughs> All right, let me park this thing right on the grass right here. <laughs> All right. Now we can explore the rest of the town. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> Remember the yellow bike? All right, it's a great way to travel the town and it helps the environment. Okay, here we go. Wait a second. Why am I not moving? Oh, <laughs> right over here. <laughs> All right, here we go. That was so much fun going on this bike adventure with you in Tenino, Washington. They definitely have a really cool town here. And it's so great that they have these yellow bikes for people to use for free. That is awesome. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy! Good job! All right, see you again! Bye bye! Oh, hey! It's me, Flippy! Do you see what I'm doing? I'm painting! Yeah, I'm actually painting just a regular cardboard box. Check it out. See, I took this cardboard box and I'm painting it. Do you know what I'm painting and making? I'm actually gonna make a lemonade stand. Yeah, I love lemonade. It's so yummy. But a lemonade stand isn't used just to drink your own lemonade. It's so then you can sell lemonade to others. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing that you have to do is make a very good looking lemonade stand. So then everyone will want to come try your lemonade. So now that it's all painted, I have these yellow triangle ribbons. <laughs> and if I put them on here on the top, it will spark some more customers. <laughs> okay, let's put some tape right here. There we go. Wow. All right. You see these yellow triangles? Yeah. What is the color yellow that you can think of? Lemonade! <laughs> also, the sun is the color yellow. Okay, here we go. And then we actually have a little bit more of this. 
Well, have you ever tried lemonade before? It's really tasty. It's weird because if you just eat a normal lemon, it's really sour. <laughs> but if you add a lot of water and then some sugar, it'll sweeten it right up and make a nice refreshing drink. Okay, how about right there? Whoa, it looks so good. All right, we have our lemonade stand, blue and orange, my two favorite colors. We added the yellow banners to bring in more customers, but all these customers are gonna be like, what's Blippi doing? <laughs> so we need to tell them what we're doing. We're gonna be selling lemonade, one dollar. <laughs> so let's put this right here. Perfect. How does this look? Can you tell what I'm here for? Yeah, to sell lemonade. All right, now that we built the stand, now we need to make some lemonade and then we can sell it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, the first ingredient to lemonade is lemons. <laughs> there we go. So great that our friend has their very own lemon tree. That definitely saves us a lot of money when we calculate how much this lemonade cost us to make. Okay, all right, see this pitcher? We're gonna put a lot of water, sugar, lemons, and we're gonna spice it up with a little bit of raspberries to make raspberry lemonade. So the first thing that we need to do is to grab our lemons. Yeah, all right. And only grown-ups should use a knife. So we're going to first take a lemon, we're gonna cut it in half and use this device to squeeze out all of the juice. Just like this, ready? Yeah, do you see all that lemon juice down there? Okay, let's do another. Here we go. Whoa, this thing is just pressing out all of the juice. <gasps> it looks so yummy. <laughs> I bet it'd be really sour though. <laughs> all right. I think that is plenty of lemon juice for our lemonade. All right, so we need to now pour this in our giant pitcher. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, it has a little bit of pulp, but that's okay. Okay, so the lemons were free. So this cost us zero dollars to make. <laughs> We're right on track. Okay, the next thing, let's add our water. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! a perfect amount. Okay, so the lemons were free, the water was 10 cents. Yeah, and now we need to sweeten it up because this is basically just like watered down lemon juice, which would be really tart and sour. <laughs> so what we have right here is sugar, yeah. That's a really tasty ingredient. You don't want to eat too much sugar though. But for the lemonade, we're gonna add six scoops. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> there we go. Let's put that aside. Here we go. <laughs> 
This lemonade is complete. All you really need to make lemonade are lemons, water, and sugar. But we have that extra ingredient from earlier, remember? Raspberries. Yeah, we're gonna make raspberry lemonade. But before we add those, let's calculate how much this lemonade has cost us thus far. Well, the lemons were free because we have a great friend. <laughs> the water was 10 cents and then the sugar was 40 cents. So right now we're at 50 cents for this whole pitcher. Whoa, all right. Now we can add our raspberries. Woo, oh, oh, that's silly, one fell out. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna just use these. Ready, here we go. Whoa, looks like they float. Whoa, raspberry lemonade. <laughs> okay, so now our total cost, let's calculate. So earlier it was 50 cents and these raspberries cost me 50 cents from the grocery store. So 50 cents plus 50 cents is $1. Wow, this whole pitcher cost us $1. All right, let's put in some ice <laughs> to chill it down so then we can go and sell it. The ice was free because our friend also has a freezer full of ice. So. Now that we have nice, cold lemonade, raspberry lemonade, we can go and sell it. I think there's about eight cups in here and our cost is $1. So eight cups, if we sell them for $1 would be $8. And if we minus $1, that's $7. Whoa, we're gonna make $7. We built this amazing lemonade stand. We made some tasty lemonade. Yeah, now it's time to sell some lemonade. Here we go. Lemonade, lemonade. Who wants some lemonade? Oh, I'd love some lemonade. Oh, okay. How are you doing today? Good, I'm a little thirsty. Ooh, really? Well, it looks like I might have something just for you. Oh. Fantastic. How much is it? It is one dollar. One dollar. I got that right here. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. What kind is this? This is not normal lemonade. It is raspberry lemonade. My favorite. I can't wait to try. Thank you. All right. See you later. Bye. Did you see that? You and I just made our very first lemonade sale. Good job. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about business, how to make lemonade with you, and having fun along the way. <laughs> well, time to sell some more lemonade. <laughs> lemonade, lemonade, who wants some lemonade? <laughs> yeah! Come on everyone, let's make learning fun. So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout. Lippy.